And with a lion carol and an enriched rescued black leopard, I would like to welcome everyone to this live post here at the Wildcat Sanctuary as we celebrate 25 years of saving lives. Welcome everyone. It is uh, an amazing day. Well, every day is an amazing day at the Wildcat Sanctuary, but today in particular, as not only is it the launch of Miracle Match and doubled donations, but here at the Wildcat Sanctuary, thanks to people like you, people who are watching this post, who have been supporting us for 25 years, we're allowed to celebrate our 25th anniversary, a quarter of a century. Welcome everyone. Happy, happy, happy Tuesday. There's Rita V. Jeremy Snaps here. Carrie Miller saying rumble tunes as the lions greeted us on the post this morning. And is this thing working? Facebook was uh, waking up on the wrong side of the bed this morning. I'm sure for lots of folks, even us here at the Wildcat Sanctuary, uh, our business account was logged out of, our personal accounts were logged out of. But uh, we are back and ready to celebrate the big 25 with everyone. Thank you for that, Carrie Miller, 25th anniversary, and happy Miracle Match. And of course, Shazam's our poster child. I'll admit, uh, Tammy was going to be doing today's live post to kind of kick off uh, the 25th anniversary. It's only right for the founder and executive director who started this thing 25 years ago uh, to join us on a live post, but she kind of got tied up in meetings, understandably so. She's training in two new volunteer uh, volunteer vet techs who you may remember we made a, a plea on Facebook a few weeks ago for that. So she's training them in, and it sounds like you are going to be getting a double dose of live posts from the Wildcat Sanctuary later today. You'll be hearing from her. Uh, so we're going to have some fun. We're going to celebrate 25. We're going to talk about uh, double donations. But but first and foremost, <laughs> look at that, Shazam. Uh, really just kind of sit back and rest on our laurels of what we've been able to create for the rescues here at the Wildcat Sanctuary over the last 25 years. And good morning. Glad to have for my... And we're featuring Shazam for a very specific reason, as Shazam is 23 years old. He's one of our oldest rescued residents here at the Wildcat Sanctuary. Uh, and Shazam and his rescue 22 years ago, or rather, when was his rescue exactly, Olivia? 18 years ago. 18 years ago. My mistake. I always have so many dates floating he in my head. He is 22 years old, almost 23, but his rescue 18 years ago... Uh, signified a moment in time at the Wildcat Sanctuary where our intake was exceeding our capacity. And that's Shazam with uh, the catnip ball. We would have seen the catnip ball uh, with uh, the uh, rescued uh, Five Wild group and, and Shazam certainly finding some fun in that catnip ball as we can see here. Um, but anyways, with Shazam's rescue at that time, 18 years ago, was uh, at a point where our intake was exceeding our capacity. And as you probably read in Tammy's e-newsletter uh, this morning, she did a great kind of uh, telling of what it was like back then, the long hours, uh, the hours of building, the uh, what it would take staff and just kind of the people power to get that done and how they were doing it through the night. They're using cars to light up where they're constructing these habitats. It was Shazam's habitat that she's recalling in that e-newsletter of having to build that thing uh, in anticipation for the Catskill Game Farm Rescue. It was Shazam, along with a handful of rescued wildcats that were being um, displaced from this zoo after they decided to close. Um, and, uh, you know, it's something to where we've, uh, we, you know, we're proud that we're able to, 22 years later, or 18 years later, here's Shazam, <laughs> having lived a compassionate life for those 18 years, now at 22 years old, and uh, we're wanting to give that same exact level and standard of care to cats like Shazam for what's happening now at the Wildcat Sanctuary. It's kind of a similar feeling, is that uh, as we kind of uh, make our way through the small cat crisis, and you guys see... Uh, how we've been inundated with rescues over the last summer here at the Wildcat Sanctuary with the ALC rescues, uh, the Caracal rescue, the Minnesota Bobcat and Lynx rescue. 
um, the small cat crisis is upon us. And so there's parallels. And when uh, Shazam first came to the wild cat sanctuary 18 years ago uh, with now and how we have these amazing backers and supporters behind us who are going to ensure that these new cats are going to have an amazing 18 years just like Shazam had here. You know, we're going to have a long and compassionate and peacefully lived 18 years just like Shazam did. <laughs> Well, he's been having fun while I've been doing my little monologue over here, doing our show notes. But welcome, everyone, if you're just joining us. Happy 25th anniversary to the Wildcat Sanctuary and happy Miracle Match and double donations. That is Black Leopard Shazam, one of our rescued residents here. We were just talking a little about his story. Oh, he's going all the way through the tubes. And I even think he's now brought his catnip ball into that tube. I might have to get a better look at this guy here. And, uh, you know, it's just so nice to kind of sit back and, and smile and realize that a cat like Shazam, his life was not always like this. Um, where, uh, where Shazam, with well, a road that led him to the sanctuary, was he was uh, at a place called the Catskill Game Farm in upstate New York. This place was closing down and wanted to profit and sell the animals that were at the park. Um, uh, fortunately, wildlife groups stepped in and uh, they didn't want these animals, both uh, cats, bears, hoof stock, they didn't want them falling into unscrupulous hands. And um, that's what led Shazam. Uh, that would be some uh, cougars as well as uh, lions from that Catskill Game Farm Rescue. We've talked a little about your story, Shazam, but life hasn't always been this sweet. And that's... Uh, you know, part of what Miracle Match is about is, is certainly identifying, you know, how far we've come and how far rescues have come in their rescued lives, thanks to you. And and then obviously uh, kind of looking at Shazam like a map, a roadmap rather, for, for rescues yet to come and some of those new rescues who we've welcomed here. Shazam may be 22 going on 23, uh, but a majority of the rescues that we have welcomed here to the Wildcat Sanctuary have been an average age of two years old. So if Shazam's 22 years, 22 years old, we want to get uh, those cats uh, to Shazam's level. We want them to live 20, 20 plus years compassionately here at the Wildcat Sanctuary. And, uh, you know, we can put out the best enrichment for Shazam, but nothing, nothing is as enticing as his tiger girlfriend, Polina, who he is going over, oh my word. He says, catnip ball, miracle match enrichment, 25th anniversary, that's peanuts, compared to this pretty tiger over here. <laughs> that's another thing we can talk about Shazam and his time here, is that he's been lucky to have a handful of big cat friends who he's been able to call his uh, companions and uh, obviously that's also one of the things that we like offering in the wild at heart experience if you will is companionship and and maybe for a cat like Shazam who's a different species than some of the friends that he's had over the years uh, and is a little bit smaller he's still able to have that companionship uh, along his shared wall and that's been a very very important aspect to Shazam's life I'm sure many had over the year Nikita uh, Jaguar Diablo Guapo Hey, Patricia. Hey, welcome. Saying happy 25th anniversary. Thank you for that, Patricia. Glad to have you with us for the ride. Hansham Sazam, says Laura Miller. That is right, Laura. And Kelly, you, uh, you are exactly right, saying uh, I love how you can see his spots when he turns just right. And there's his girlfriend parading. Whoa. Aww. Is that your little girlfriend? <laughs> little girlfriend. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, well, maybe not. She's she's little for a tiger. She is little for a tiger. That was quite the move, Shazam. Helena didn't appreciate it as much as we did. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and I think we're you know Olivia, we kind of always talk about you know species specificities and how this is specific to this habitat and this and that. But you know, one thing that you'll see different is that uh, Polina's habitat looks a little different. Uh, than Shazam's habitat in terms of grass coverage. 
uh, and it just goes to show you uh, what two tigers will do to one of our free roaming habitats versus uh, a geriatric leopard where uh, there's going to be kind of two different paces of life here and uh, the effect that they can have uh, on the earth below them. Uh, certainly, it's it's still kind of spring here. That, uh, Polina's habitat's really going to kind of come into its own, but still worth kind of pointing out. You have uh, Tarek and Polina who take advantage of every square inch of their free-roaming habitat, and uh, they got uh, the tiger power to show for it. Shazam also has a lot of vertical space in his habitat for being a leopard, so he's yes. always taking the ground. That, you know, Olivia, I appreciate you pointing that out. Is is Shazam, uh, you know, he can play Don't Touch the Ground yes, if he, he wants can. to. That's one of the kind of awesome amenities that he, as a leopard, would certainly take advantage of the vertical space in the wild. We want to kind of emulate that here at the Wildcat Sanctuary. Shazam making sure of that as well. I'm going to interject on myself and welcome everyone. I'm so happy to have everyone along on this live post as we celebrate 25 years of saving lives here at the Wildcat Sanctuary, as well as the kickoff of Miracle Match and double donations. And as always, Miracle Match is going to be about two months long. It lasts until April 30th, um, you know, but uh, obviously we really want to punch up and celebrate 25 years of rescuing lives and and just really put into perspective your role and how you make all things possible here at the Wildcat Sanctuary and have been over the last 25 years and hope to do uh, so for the next 25 as well. <laughs> oh. Just uh, kind of looking through some comments, marveling at Shazam sitting over in his uh, very purposefully over by that shared wall we got to see a little tiger visit that will be fun for uh, some of you to go back and watch if you missed it uh, shazam is always wanting to say hi to his uh, tiger neighbors and it's not always possible for us to catch him on a live post and we got a couple good doses of him fawning over polina next door now he's found a good sunspot. Yeah. Room observed. Yep, he's got a good sunspot. He's got another tube over there, which I'm sure he'll have his way with. He's got a couple Miracle Match and 25 tubes down here with a with a catnip ball hidden somewhere in there. <laughs> he did have a blast with that catnip ball too, so that's yeah. certainly going to be worth uh, the rewatch as well. Well, Judson, while we're talking about 25 years. 25 years, You've Olivia. been here for almost five, of, or yeah, five of those. Almost five, yeah. Almost come, five. Come, ap come April, it will be five. Okay, so what is your favorite that, That's a, I have a quarter, a quarter of it You've all. Been, yeah, oh, okay, wow. wow. Or a fifth. Okay, is it a fifth? Is it a fifth? I don't know. We don't do math, Judson. Yes, it's it's fifth. Okay, it's, a fifth. it's yeah, okay. five times so five is one fraction. fifth one of the fifth. timeline of the Wildcat Sanctuary. That's... Pretty darn significant, and uh, your contributions have been significant. Jensen, well, thank so. you for for that adulation, Olivia. Yeah, of course. Um, you know, you're asking of of my time here and kind of thinking back of 25. You know, what are some impressions that have been left on me, or or what exactly are you trying to squeeze out of me here, Olivia? Any, that's up for your interpretation, <laughs> Jensen. You know, I mean, I just. I, I think you can probably agree, and and you know maybe I'm kind of calling myself out here, but in the office, I kind of to myself, I keep just saying twenty five yeah. years. You do. He literally keeps saying out <laughs> loud twenty five. Twenty five years. years. So you know, I think that that's just kind of a process of me being almost mesmerized by it. It's an incredible thing that Tammy's created here. Um, you know, we have this amazing social media footprint that's garnered an amazing amount of supporters for the cats. Um, and I just, it's almost surreal at times of thinking about the rescue stories, thinking about what some of our rescues have conquered thanks to our supporters. Um, so that me, you know, kind of in a zombie-like just saying 25 <laughs> years, uh, you know, all of that is just me trying to wrap my head around the amazing thing that is the Wildcat Sanctuary uh, and how I'm lucky enough to participate in it. Yeah, and I think for both of us, Judson, kind of going through our material and preparing for Miracle Match and sharing those 25 years with all of you out on social media, it's been, at least for me, just, it really has been amazing to literally reflect on all of it, see old pictures, see how far 
everything has come. Of course, what Tammy has done, but TWS as a whole, including your support, it's incredible what we have here today and what we get to share with all of you and even moments like Shazam just sitting in the sun 18 years after his rescue. 18 years Shazam has been here for. That's phenomenal. I'm not even 18 years old, Olivia. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> uh, right and young 17. Yeah, That's yeah, thir yeah, 31 going on 18. <laughs> Um, but, uh, you know, and that's, uh, like I said, and like we've been pointing out, and, and I hope that uh, you all are doing the same too, or kind of having those introspective moments of, of thinking about the Wildcat Sanctuary and how you've played a very important role. And, I, and you know, for you to never diminish um, what you're able to make possible through your contributions, whether it's donating, whether it's sharing a post, uh, whether it's talking to your friends uh, about the Wildcat Sanctuary, it all culminates together to create something very, very special here. We got the fence company making their way in. Speaking of support and how you all have supported us. Exactly. And the cats, the fence company rolling by. And Olivia Daria pointing out uh, something that has been just a mega super tanker in terms of uh, garnering new support as well as, you know, kind of a newer, younger generation uh, that Olivia built TWS's TikTok by herself. Great work on that, she oh, says. Oh, thank you, Daria. Thank you. I... You know, TikTok is an interesting platform, but it has been good for the rescues of TWS. It's been a lot of fun for me and even Judson and the interns have put their little fun touches on it too. So yeah. it's been fun. It's been fun. And keeps me young, Olivia. Yeah, it, it keeps us all <laughs> young, doesn't it? Uh, uh, Carrie, that is a very, very high praise. And uh, thank you for that comment. Um, much appreciated. Oh, that's so cool, Tanya, pointing out a little landmark for you of, uh, you've been following the Wildcat Sanctuary since Dash was 11 weeks old, Aww. man. <laughs> Marcy, we love that grassroots, uh, you know, kind of uh, raising awareness or talking to your dentist about TWS. <laughs> uh, even a teeth cleaning won't stop you from talking about the Wildcat Sanctuary. Marcy, I've done the same. I've also <laughs> yeah. talked to my dentist. You know, TWS. that that's also true. I, I find myself kind of wearing my TWS garb. Um, you know, even kind of on the weekends and, and certainly that, you know, raises a little brand, raises some brand awareness, but also finds, uh, has me kind of talking cats and wildcat sanctuary, just about every turn that I make, whether it's the grocery store, uh, or, uh, who knows what I'm always talking cats. Karen Daughtry saying hi to myself, Shazam and Olivia. Glad to have you, Karen. And, uh, glad to have everyone. If you're just joining us, Shazam is truthfully taking a much deserved rest after having a blast with some of his 25th anniversary enrichment, his miracle match enrichment. There was a catnip ball hidden down in there. And uh, after a little socialization with his tiger uh, next door, that's the girl, I was uh, trying to make a girl next door reference. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, uh, the tiger next door, uh, Polina, he's uh, found himself a nice little sunspot and, and is truthfully, this is kind of how Shazam really likes to spend his days of have a little outside time he'll spend some time with his enrichment he'll spend some time with his big cat enrichment next door and then he takes it easy and uh, it's you know it takes it easy because he can and he has the opportunity to and we just love that for him <laughs> maria vaughn saying i always share the post thank you for that maria thanks maria that's always a uh awesome way to help i know it seems like it might not do much but it really does it does that's how we spread the word exactly just kind of going through a few more comments to make sure i don't miss anything um, but i did talk about it at the beginning of the live post that uh, um, tammy had a scheduling conflict she was going to kick off the uh, live today as uh, we all want to hear from the founder and executive director on our 25th anniversary um, so she'll be doing a little impromptu live post later this afternoon. So uh, as always, please stay close to our uh, uh, Facebook page for that. Uh, otherwise, I'm uh, really just looking forward to uh, kind of a whole two months of making two times the difference for the rescues of the Wildcat Sanctuary and kicking off uh, those, those two months of Miracle Match with... Uh, 
The 25th anniversary is uh, the cherry on top of the proverbial Sunday, Olivia. Absolutely. I'm so excited. It's yeah. going to be very, very fun over this next two months. I'm excited to look back with all of you and like Judson said, make two times the difference for the cats here. They mean so much to us and we know they mean so much to you. Yeah, it's just so special. So uh, everyone, thank you all for making the Wildcat Sanctuary uh, what it is today after 25 years. Uh, so cheers to 25 and cheers to 25 more. Thank you all again. And uh, we will see you later this afternoon when we hear from Tammy uh, on our 25th anniversary.